Run! I don't want to be stew. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Little Nightmares. I'm finally back here, the reason being that the checkpoint is miles away, and I accidentally clicked the restart from checkpoint button once, which was a pain in the ass. But to be fair, I was really annoyed, because the game kept minimizing, because the mouse cursor doesn't lock to the window. So yay, well done devs. Anyway, a little bit moaning aside. There's a bunch of noisemakers along there, you can't really see it. There's like a jack-in-the-box, and a monkey, and what looks like another jar. But there's a nice hatch over there on the left, which I think we might be supposed to go to. So I'm going to try and just climb up these books. And uh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to get restarted back to checkpoint, and I'm going to be pissed off. But it looks like it's going to work. Thank God for that. Alright, uh, Okay, so there's a hatch, well not hatch, uh, what's the word, what is this called, a crank that we passed by earlier, and come on, throw it, a crank we passed by earlier, and this is evidently the handle, and we can't throw it, what, oh, alright, okay, TV, I see. I think we have to do an alternation on the noise-making plan I had earlier. Okay, that doesn't move either. So we're gonna throw this jar at the TV, make a bunch of noise, he's gonna run in, freak out, and uh, we will sneak it, slink out behind him. Then again... You can do it. Press Buton. Surely. Oh, there he is. Yep. Let's just keep running for as long as he's distracted with that. That's one loud TV. Now I don't know what we're cranking is the problem. Oh, that's what we're cranking. Okay, that'll do. Oh, got there, yes. This better be a checkpoint. Oh, and this looks like a sawmill. It's not, it's just got cogs, but I don't like it either way. Yeah, okay, we need that cart thing, don't we? I heard the door open. There's no way. Surely. Surely he can't get here. He's gonna be here. Don't worry. I know. I'm not stupid enough to think it would be that easy. Push. Push, little one. Channel the raptor at the start of Jurassic Park. And push. Oh, okay, okay, it's just the steam that pushed it, okay. I kind of thought maybe it was rolling, but... Is this a laundry cart? It sort of looks like that. Yeah, I actually recently listened to an audiobook of the Jurassic Park novel. It's very different to the film. I, I mean, like, I know the book different from the film, who'd have thought, but... In a good way, it's interesting. Plus, you can see where they got a lot of material for Jurassic Park 2 and 3. Whoa, this ain't good. Something's got to give here. 
Something's gotta give, something's gotta give. Vents are good. Apparently, what's his name? Miggy can't follow us. I knew it! How long was I saying his arm is gonna follow us in a vent? He waited until the very moment I said that I was safe. I knew it. That's another thing I've noticed, is every time we quote-unquote die, she seems to wake up, as it were, from a nightmare. Now I see there's another gap on the left there. Can we burn his hand off? That would be fun. I think we need to sneak under him when he's rasping for the pipe. Like, he is seriously trying to hold on to us. Alright, so let's just watch out for any gaps or cracks. Maybe he's going to grab at the rat. That would be handy for us. And, yep, there's a door. Oh, what? Oh, I thought he just immediately grabbed us. Well, he did just immediately grab us. Okay, wonderful. I hate this asshole so much. So, run, I guess. Now he's faster than us, so I don't think that'll work. Oh. oh, god damn it. That was my fault. I thought I was safe. Oh. So we checkpoint here. Okay. Um... Right, so I guess we've got to grab that, what you call it, vent. Unfortunately, I'm sucking at jumping right now. God's sake. So nice, I'm pretty sure I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, I had to look this up because I just couldn't figure it out. Apparently you need to pull the bars on both sides of the cage to get the door to shut, so I was actually kind of right. Well, that's annoying, but whatever. We're getting there. Fuck!
Is this it? Please tell me this is it. Oh, dude, will you actually cut his arms off? Thank God. No, leave me alone. Oh, his arms are still moving around like Thing, or Cousin It. I think it was Thing. It was Thing the disembodied hand? Literally. Oh, I'm so glad that's done with. That was... Whatever, it's done with. What's the bet he's going to come back with two arms? Or possibly more? Okay. We're asleep in a pipe. Again. So that wasn't even the end game boss. That was just an end of chapter. It's only going to get worse. I hope the game tends towards the puzzles rather than the insta-kill bosses. I don't think so. Great. It's like, yeah, maybe the camera will show me where the edge of this ledge No. I need a checkpoint. I'm getting a fucking million miles away from the thing I did. No, nope, have a huge, long ladder climb first. It's like, yeah, we've got to grab the meter, but we need to jump on the body. But definitely not the fucking door ledge. And also, bet our arms get tired, so we fall. Oh. oh, look, another big bad. Probably a chef. He's gonna chase us with a cleaver. It's all gonna hurt very much. And there's a lot of bodies here. Okay, you're hungry again. Eat the human meat. You've been doing it all along. Shock reveal. Wouldn't be surprised if that's the actual twist. It's like, oh no, little child had to eat meat to survive. But it was human meat. Ah, okay, maybe not. We'll just eat that rat that conveniently went into a trap. But who's got a head bash and shovel? I really don't understand this hunger mechanic. Because it happened once per level so far. But then it never comes back up. Or maybe that's the surprise twist. We should all be vegetarian because fuck you. Ooh, music. Floor is lava. Wow, is the floor actually lava? This <laughs> have I accidentally uncovered a mechanic? Okay. No, no, no. Going the wrong way. How long till a chef arm bursts through that door there? Come on, jump. Jump. No, no, no. It's a tiny little hole and you can get into it. There we go. Hey, little chef buddy. Here, have a vegetable of some sort. He was a chef. He a very fat chef. Wow, look at that fish there. Okay, hopefully he doesn't keep an eye out for the vermin in his kitchen. Not that we're vermin, just that we, you know hide behind covers, just like it. 
Yeah. Are we gonna have to hide in ovens? That seems like a really bad plan. Okay, got little pygmy buddies. Oh, no, no, we saw Jurassic Park. Don't hit the ladle. That's funny, I didn't expect Jurassic Park to come up again. <laughs> but, you know, life found a way. Looks like he doesn't care about the little KKK dudes. Looks like he doesn't care about the little pointy-headed pygmy dudes. But I'm guessing he will be annoyed if he sees us. Fish head. He's going to make delightful stew with that. Yeah, here he is. Oh, unhygienic, dude. How did you spot us? Never mind. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked indeed. That's not good. <laughs> Climb up! Do not like it. I feel like he's gonna, you know, spit at us or something. Wow. Just give up, dude. Okay, I already like him more than Creepy Arms McGee. See, we're gonna not knock things up. Ugh. Not knock things over all over the shop. Can we like drop that jar on his head and just knock him out? Something tells me probably not. I also get the feeling that if I just drop the key next to the door, he'll be like, huh. That's not supposed to happen, and take it away again. Come on. Oh, do we have to go back through? Or are we just, like, not trying to get to that key room? Oh, manky. Why are there two toilets side by side? Is that for taking a romantic poo with your partner? Okay, little buddy, show me the way. Or... Okay, the door was slightly open. Oh, he's having a little sleep, isn't he? Oh, look at that. There's a handle hanging very uh, suspiciously above the sleeping dude. Come on, climb up. Ah, noise maker. Okay, noise maker not making noise. I'm sure one of these did that before, but actually made noise. Can we? Nope. Maybe they're not the noise maker I thought. Oh, okay. I can climb up here, can't we? Oh dear, okay. Light switch is not good for us. 
Are there two? Is it like twin shafts? Is that why? Beds next to each other, toilets next to each other. Maybe we're not trying to grab the light switch after all. Where's it? There he is. Well, you're just a strange yellow ornament. Go to bed. Shit. Don't know where we're going is the problem. And sauce. So where's the key? Oh. He just FO'd. This tomb is he not paid for this? Can't climb up this, can we? Come on. Well, push the door. I just want to see this. It's like I'm running straight out of that cabinet. And she's just bouncing off it like it's a slanted invisible wall. Where the hell is the key? Or what else is there? I don't think there is anything. I think we just had to wake up other chef and not die. Come on. No, okay. Yeah, he's not coming back. So I don't know. Maybe he's off to get a rat trap. Where's this dumb way through? Oh, is this back to the kitchen? This ain't a good place to be. Run! I don't want to be stew. I would suggest that we disguise ourselves as a toilet roll, but that comes with its own risks. Oh, there's a candle up there. Let's uh, do a little light. So he's not there anymore. Does that mean I screwed up by him being awake in the first place? Right, pull this first, just in case we need to make a quick getaway. I said quick getaway. Yeah, good thing we do that. Let's not mess with that. Right, so what did I do last time? I climbed up the, the thingy me. 
the watch it. Ah, oh, there's the key on the left. Ah. I think I want to get on that shelf next to me, but it's too crowded with that suitcase. Oh, oh for fuck's sake, I'm just broken neck. Oh, maybe we need to like jump down onto the bed, bounce off that. And then uh that'll that'll propel us up into the air. Thrust! As Rocky Roads put it. And that's annoyingly not staying in position. So it seems we had this guy right where we wanted him the first time, but then we fucked up and went downstairs. Now he's going to the bathroom to do things which can only be described as indescribable, no doubt. I mean, that place is going to be a mess. That's right, fat boy. Oh, so we just, like, totally exhausted him. You can't catch me. And again, maybe he can, but... Boing. Oh. We didn't boing! So is he going to go away and take a poop? Which leaves the way open for us to steal the key, perhaps. Ah, okay. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. I like that. Which is like the, the cage at the start of the second act. Where we just swing ourselves. trying to listen. If we hear the door open, we're going to have to bail. I, I can't look any further right. Okay, we did it. Took a bit of a uh, farrago and a bit of back and forth, but we did manage it. Now the question is, can we get this key all the way to the other side of the kitchen. I think we can, but we're going to have to find that out next time. See you then.